What's up, hedgehogs and lady hedgehogs? My name is your pair of socks, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Sonic Generations for the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, PC, and Nintendo 3DS. This is going to be a bonus episode covering the five classic Sonic stages of Seaside Hill. Now, before we get started, I'd like to recommend the one challenge that you should do to get the Seaside Hill key, and that is Act 2, Challenge 3. This is Trick Island. Now, like Speed Highway, out of the 10 challenges of Seaside Hill, there aren't any skills you can obtain, so I'm recommending these stages just because of how fun they were to play through. Now, if you don't like this stage, then I recommend Act 2, Challenge 2, or Act 2, Challenge 5. I'm not recommending any uh, classic Sonic stages, because they're actually pretty difficult. And speaking of difficult classic Sonic stages, it's time for Act 1, Challenge 1. Let's get started, shall we? It's time for Rescue the Animals. Save a set number of captured animals from capsules and reach the goal in time. Alright then, let's get started. Alright, so here we are in Rescue the Animals. Now our objective is to free 140 or more animals and reach the goal in time. Now, you know how I said I didn't want to recommend any Seaside Hill Classic Sonic challenges? Because most of them are difficult. Well, this happens to be one of them because if you want to get an S rank, the requirements to get an S rank are pretty steep. You have to collect at least 140 animals, like I said, but you also have to reach the goal in about 1 minute and 40 seconds. And if you want to hit that time, you cannot waste any time whatsoever. You can't risk collecting all the animals in the capsules, I know. I'm gonna miss some of them myself going through them, and you'll be able to see those capsules. But you just do not have any time for this. See, there's one at the bottom, but I'm not going to go after that one because I know just how many capsules I need to open. My advice for this stage is either learn which capsules you need to get and just that amount, or follow what I'm doing right here and try and collect the same capsules that I'm hitting because, as you can see right now, I've collected 140. I don't need to collect any more, so I can just move as fast as possible throughout the stage and not have to worry about getting sidetracked by uh, collecting more capsules. Now let's wait, let's build up a spin dash, and let's go! Alright, last challenge, jump immediately or else you will fall down there. And with 8 seconds left to spare, and the required amount of animals saved, let's move on. And now it's time for Act 2, Challenge 2. Let's get started. Alright, it's time for a doppelganger race. Now for those who have seen this series by now, you know what's going to happen. But for those who do not know, it's time to face off against Sonic's double and beat him in a race to the goal. Now, let's get started. Shall we? Alright, here we are back at Seaside Hill. Now let's get started. Hmm. An alternate path. Must have flown right by it the first time playing through the stage. Gotta love the overpowered spin dash. Anyway, I'm here to discuss a topic explaining why I think that classic Sonic Seaside Hill wasn't very memorable compared to its modern counterpart. While you watch me play through this level, of course. Now let's think about Sonic Heroes for a moment. Now, in Seaside Hill, what was the most memorable part of the stage? The three loop-de-loops, the go-kart, the platforms on the turtles, and the Rolling Stones. Not the band, you know what I mean. Anyway, all those moments are in the modern version of Seaside Hill, which is one of the reasons why I actually like that stage a lot, because they kept a lot of the stuff that made Seaside Hill special, and they added a bunch of new stuff so that modern Sonic's new abilities won't go to waste. But with classic Sonic, you really don't get that. I mean, besides this shot of the turtles right here, that's really the only time you ever see them. Another thing about Classic Sonic that's way different than the original Seaside Hill and Modern Sonic's uh, Seaside Hill is the fact that he can actually go underwater. Sure, there are some parts of Modern Sonic's Seaside Hill, if you take the lower path, he will go underwater, but mainly with Classic Sonic, he's playing through Labyrinth Zone, really, not really Seaside Hill, which I do admire the idea of them adding new stuff in that they couldn't for the original. And by making Classic Sonic Seaside Hill very unique. But it's just not what Seaside Hill was. I mean, let's look at the three loop-de-loops for Modern Sonic. 
he can go left, right, or straight, but with Classic Sonic, he can only take one loop because he's going in 2D. I mean, there are a lot of moments in gaming where people always discuss how, in a 3D game, this part, if it would have been 2D, it would have been better. But in this case, where the mechanics are solely based upon the ability to move around in a 3D environment, it just would have been better if it was just in 3D. Not that I'm dissing Classic Sonic Seaside Hill, I mean, the Rolling Stone chase in Classic Sonics is a lot more like the original than modern Sonics. But anyway, now that I'm done talking about that, let's move on. And now it's time for Act 1, Challenge 3. Let's get started. Alright, it's time for Espio, Way of the Ninja. Press the triangle button to have Espio attach a rope to the hooks and reach the goal in time. You have no idea how hard it was for me to not say Ezio by mistake. Anyway, let's get started. I'll get us across with my blade. Alright, let's get started in Espio, Way of the Ninja. Alright, come on. Alright, I'm just gonna say it. I don't like this mission whatsoever. Mainly because of the rope physics. It's just really weird. I can't, ex I can't really explain it that well, to be honest. Basically, it looks like you get the same amount of height every single time, most of the time, if you have enough momentum. But even if you're going as fast as possible and you look like you've gotten a lot of air, if you don't take that extra second or so, you're not going to go that far. But if you do take the time to swing back and forth, you're going to go very far. It's kind of weird. I don't know. It just seems kind of unnatural to me. See, I would have had the same amount of height right there, but if I had weighed and swung one more time, I probably would have gotten that stopwatch, and no matter how many times I swing right here, I just always end up on those spikes, so I just say, you know what, screw it. I'm going to save myself a lot of time by just doing that. But, yeah. I don't really like this stage that much. I much prefer SBO's Speed Highway mission, although I'd still take him over Roge's missions any day. Ugh. And, yes! Barely made it over this. There we go. The mission's been completed, and that means we're heading to the next stage, which is... Act 1, Challenge 4. Let's get started, shall we? Alright, it's time for High Speed Hijinks. Really, it should be called High Speed Hijinks 3, but whatever. Enemies move and shoot at double speed. Try to get to the goal in time. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, here we are in high speed hijinks. Let's get started. Ah, already in water. That's a great sign of things to come. And these guys are really annoying when they're twice as fast, and so are these platforms. It's like, ah, so fast, can't keep up with them. I'm surprised I was actually able to get up there in one try. And then we got these stupid things. And here we go! Alright. So, yeah, just a standard run-of-the-mill level. Get to the goal as fast as you can while avoiding all the enemies. Although, the time limit as isn't as bad as other levels. Get there in 1 minute and 30 seconds like the other one. Eh, that's not too much of a challenge. The only ones that really you really have to watch out for the time is probably Act 1, Challenge 1, and Act 1, Challenge 5. Those are the only two, really. All the others, just your standard classic Sonic stages. No oh god. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Alright. And, of course, I had to screw up at the very end. Have to screw up somewhere, anyway. The challenge has been completed, and now it's time to move on to the final classic Sonic mission of Seaside Hill. And that is... Act 1, Challenge 5. Let's get started, shall we? Alright, it's time for the underwater challenge. Keep a watchful eye out on the underwater terrain and get to the goal in time. This one's gonna be challenging. Ah, I hate this one so much, let's get this over with. Alright, so our goal is to get to the goal as soon as you can. Although we're dealing with underwater physics, so our movement's going to be even more sluggish. Which isn't very good, seeing as how we're on a very strict time limit. To be honest, this is probably going to be one of the stages where you're just going to give up and say, I'm okay with an A rank. And you know what? That's fine. Because, to be honest, 
to get all the achievements in the game, you only need to get S ranks for all the modern classic Sonic main stages, not any of the challenges. You just need to complete all the challenges, not get S ranks for all of them to get all the achievements and whatnot, and all the other oddball achievements you also need to do to get 100%. Because unless you want to memorize this whole entire course from top to bottom, then it's not really worth the time and effort if you're just going to be okay with an A rank. Although I'm a perfectionist, so I always strive to get an S rank. There's only one stage in the one file I have that's totally complete that I didn't get an S rank in. I think you can guess by now, if you've played through the whole entire game, which challenge that is. Uh, I'm gonna have to restart so many times trying to get an S rank on that one stage alone. Although this one's already given me quite a couple of headaches. Ugh, this one's so unforgiving. Although I seem to be having some pretty good luck. And jump. Alright. Ten seconds left. Spin dash jump. And there it is. Yes. Alright. With seven seconds left to spare, let's see what we've done for Seaside Hill. For completing all five classic Sonic stages of Seaside Hill, we have restored a little bit more of Seaside Hill. Nice. Alright, now that we've done all five classic Sonic stages, I think that will wrap things up here. Thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed. Next time, we're going to be doing the five modern Sonic stages of Seaside Hill. And until next time, take care, and I'll see you guys later.